Hello everyone. <clears throat> okay, so uh, some of you may know, some of you may not, but I've been kicked out of the shed. <laughs> um, obviously uh, my, my lot collecting has become too extreme and especially the key making and so I'm now out in the shed in a new setup which is really quite cool. Um, so I've got my own space and I hopefully don't have the kids running around all the time. So one thing I thought I'd do is run through the Squire Old English. Now the reason I'm doing this, this is because there's lots of people who look at squires and try and work out whether they're real, whether they're fake, what are the specific markings, um, what have they got on them, what, what are the important things to look for. Um, <clears throat> and as they're a real interest of mine, I thought I'd run you through them. So let's start with the family. Okay, so, mummy and daddy, as such, the 660 and the 770. All the odd numbers, a solid brass, apart from the shackle, which is forged steel. All the even numbers, they're obviously brass levers, brass front, but they're a, a, a steel body. Same size, same shape, almost no difference between them at all. Next lot down, 440, 550. Exactly the same setup, brass, steel. And then we've got the little babbies at the end here, 220, 330. So, that's the old English. There isn't anything else, uh, as far as I'm aware, and, and please, if there's anything I'm getting wrong in this, or anyone wants to have a debate about, quite happy to, um, leave me some comments below. So if you find anything that doesn't have the same shape, same size, you know, same sort of layout, <clears throat> but doesn't have 220, 330, 440, 550, 660 or 770 on it, it isn't a squire. Because that's all they produce. Um, they will all have four brass levers, and that will be stamped on the uh, left as you're looking at it of the body. Um, they will all have genuine solid brass for the brass ones, stamped on the right hand side of the, as you're looking at it, or and a forged steel shackle on the steel ones in the same location. Other thing to note is, and it's a little bit dependent on the age and the size, <clears throat> but they've almost, I've not come across one any anyway that hasn't, they've all got these little star shaped rivet heads. So the backs will be nice and plain. The fronts will have these little star, little star shape. I hope you can see that. Let me turn actually turn on the other lights. Ooh, God, that's a bit better. Right, they have these star shaped rivets, um, rivet heads. That's obviously you know the shape of the punch they use to um, uh, to flat to to, to to push them out. They're slightly different depending on the age. I've got one there that's cr more of a cross head. Um, again, that's a more modern one, and we'll go through the aging in a minute. Um, so that's your, your general setup for um, your Squire Old English. They've got Squire on the front, they've got Old English underneath. <clears throat> Again, there is some slight changes as you get towards the more modern uh, versions. They do change the, um, uh, the font. But if you look at all of these, and these are all moderately old, um, they're all very square fonted. I'll give you a bigger one here. Square font, squ quite square font. Um, they are very well defined. They're not chunky. The raise is quite small. And that's quite a key bit when I've spotted squires that don't look right. Especially with the Q. It just looks too rounded. Looks all a little bit too clunky. Someone hasn't quite quite worked on it. Um, okay, so, a little bit about Squire um, and how to tell the age. So, let's run through the keys, because this, this is a classic. You have, obviously, the original barrel lock. So the original barrel uh, key doesn't have a hole at the back in the centre. It's got a pin, and that pin, obviously, is, is holding the barrel, um, it's holding the pin for the barrel in the centre there, I hope you can all see. 
There we are. Um, but what it does have is a whole lot of bottom with the drain on it. And that's obviously because if you've got your your lock like this and it's peeing down with rain, you're going to get water inside it. And even with the brass ones, you want some water coming out. So you've got your drain there. So those are the oldest ones. That's your old style. You've then got your newer style. Straight through. Um, key goes through to the far end. Bit more like a standard sort of lever lock. Um, got another one there. You can see going through the centre. Um, and you'll get these on, the, they all come with the, the, all the same, so this one's exactly the same, this is a 330, that's the 770, they're exactly the same on the back, um, as you can see, pins in the right place, um, and drain hole at the bottom with the word drain over it. That's usually the only thing I find the, the, the fakes get right, is actually the, the, the hole at the bottom with drain on it. Okay, so a bit about ageing. Ageing is quite interesting actually, and a bit of history here. Willenhall, Staffordshire. This was uh, is an area just, just sort of north of, of Birmingham in the middle of the UK. I'll try and put a map up for the international people. Um, very famous for lot making. From the late 1700s all the way through till now, uh, you'll find a lot of lot makers um, based there. So... Willen Hall was in Staffordshire. It then, due to a whole load of changes within the UK, got moved from its it being its own little area into being part of what's called Warsaw. Now Warsaw is a bigger town, a, no, almost a city, I would think. Um, and that happened in 1966. Still in Staffordshire. 1974, Warsaw was taken en masse and moved into West Midlands. West Midlands was created. And so it wasn't in Staffordshire anymore, it's in the West Midlands. Um, and then from 2005, Squire upped and moved from the factory they'd been in for 225 years at Willenhall. And they moved to a place called Featherstone in Wolverhampton. Still in the West Midlands although the old county of Staffordshire, but still in the West Midlands, but a place called Wolverhampton. So, you can start balancing these things out. Older locks, barrel key. On the back, I have to get this right here, you'll see Henry Squire and Sons, Willenhall, Staffordshire. So these are the originals, these are the early birds, they've they're probably done for, I, I don't know when they started making them, but, um, you know, these are all the, all the old all the old boys that, 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 that are around and you'll find that exactly the same um, this one here Henry Squire and Sons, Willenhall Staffordshire exactly the same barrel lock what you'll then find is Henry Squire Willenhall Staffordshire with the straight through key um, that obviously is more recent than these guys with the, with the, uh, the barrel lock then you'll come on to, and this is the only, only example I've got, and I'll try and bring it in close, but you'll hopefully see Henry Squire and Sons, Willenhall, W Mids, West Mids. Now, that obviously means that this is a post-1974 lock. But it has to be prior to 2005. Because, if you're... After 75, uh, sorry, sorry, after 2005, you'll find that they'll say Featherstone Wolverhampton or something like that on them. I don't actually have any of the any of the modern ones. Um, all the ones I've got are um, older. I've got some. I've got some of the ones in their packaging. Um, uh, a, a 660, a 550, and I think this is a 4 440. Yep. Um, these are towards the end. These are the slightly uh, slightly more modern locks. Again, you can see down the bottom there, Henry Squire and Sons, Litchfield Road, Willenhall, West Midlands. So again, after 74, but before 2005. Uh, I got a slightly older pack, uh, falling apart a bit, but it did come did come with the, uh, and again you'll see this one, this is the older one, so Henry Squire and Sons, new invention, Willenhall, Staffordshire. So this is a pre-74 lock.
uh, the one that came with this one. I don't think I have any of them that are post-2005. Right, so I just went and checked a couple of the other squires I've got, not the old English, but no, I don't have anything modern enough to have the uh, the current the, the new address, the current address on them. Um, the one other thing that's of interest um, in terms of dating, and you might find them on the back of the, the more modern squires, um, although I don't I don't know. I've definitely seen them on the back of on the back of the Valiant uh, Squire Valiant on a video by Baldy Locks um, is the fact that the company became a limited company in 1996. So all of these are Henry Squire and Sons. These are an un unlimited company. They became a limited company in 96, and they do stamp that on the back of a lot of their locks. So um, if you find it stamped with Henry Son, Henry Squire and Sons Limited, then that's a post-96 lock. If it's still in Willen Hall West Mids, then it's a pre-2005 lock. So you can tighten that one down quite, um, quite tightly. I would think if it's after 74 and before 96, then it won't have. So that'll be um, that'll be this little one here. This is a West Mids one, and these ones here. So somewhere between 74 and 96. Um, I don't think there's anything else that jumps out at me. I might throw some examples of the fakes. Um, uh, well, the, let's say the copies um, that are around to try and show you some examples. I'll drop some of the the pictures in that I can find, especially of the Q um, that. Uh, just jumps out at me when I see it and the rivets because they tend not to be done with this star pattern uh, again these are the these are new ones they're, they're a slightly different star pattern again on there but there's still a there's still a hatched a hatched pattern on them um, well that's about it really hopefully that gives you a nice run through the Squire Old English um, they're lovely locks I do like them I just love the fact that they come as a little family uh, and they just sit there like that on my wall um, or the other way around whichever way I, I feel like doing them and uh, yeah I just love the shape uh, my kids call them the Mickey Mouse lock which I suppose you can you, you, you can see uh, they're very much uh, very much a Mickey Mouse lock with the ears um, and that's about it thank you very much any questions give me a shout that'd be lovely